Since the introduction of the innovative Prius in 1997, Toyota has been a pioneer in the development of hybrid and plug-in hybrid automobiles, which helped pave the way for the current trend of investing in electric cars. However, despite the fact that it has its origins in Japan, the Japanese company has been reticent to dive wholeheartedly into the trend of everything being electrified. Thus, keep watching this video to see what the CEO of Toyota stated. This new hydrogen engine is going to destroy the EV industry. According to Toyota, the strangely titled BZ4X, which is the company's first 100% electric vehicle, has only sold a few hundred units as of the middle of October, and the Japanese automaker does not intend to increase manufacturing until the year 2025. A statement made by Akio Toyoda, the CEO of Toyota, reaffirmed the company's reluctance to begin production of fully electric automobiles. Toyota is quoted as saying, people involved in the auto industry are largely a silent majority, according to research published in the Wall Street Journal. This unspoken majority is pondering whether or not it is really acceptable to have electric vehicles as a sole alternative. However, since they believe that it is the current tendency, they are unable to say it out loud. Because it is not yet evident what the correct response is, we shouldn't restrict ourselves to just one choice. Because the market for all electric vehicles accounts for just a small portion of the entire market for new automobiles, there is room in the market for another kind of vehicle, which is the path that Toyota has decided to take. As we take a more in-depth look at this sort of engine, the hydrogen combustion engine, let's investigate the reasons why officials at Toyota believe it has the potential to render electric vehicles obsolete. In the works is a large V8 engine that is powered by hydrogen. In a development that will excite gearheads all around the world, Toyota has formed a partnership with Yamaha Motor to create a V8 engine that is powered by hydrogen. The 5.0-litre V8 engine that Yamaha is going to utilise will be based on the one that is used by the Lexus RC Coupe, according to an announcement that was made earlier this year. The cylinder heads and fuel injectors of the engine will be modified, among other things. At 3,600 revolutions per minute, the engine is capable of producing 398 pound-feet of torque and 455 horsepower, according to Yamaha. However, while having a little lower power output than the gasoline V8 engine that it is built on, it is still pretty respectable. However, the 8 into 1 top-mounted exhaust manifold, which Yamaha says produces a particular high-frequency sound, is without a doubt the most remarkable aspect of the hydrogen V8 engine. The process of refueling hydrogen-powered vehicles is both quick and simple. Despite the fact that filling up your gas-powered internal combustion engine car may not be the most exciting part of your day, you have to realize that it is not rocket science. As a result of the fact that hydrogen is a gas rather than a liquid, the process of filling up a vehicle that is powered by hydrogen is quite simple and does not take nearly as much time. When you have had a propane tank filled in the past, rather than having it replaced with a new one, you are aware of how quickly the operation will be completed. In point of fact, the new Toyota Yaris GRH2 can be entirely filled with hydrogen in only one minute and a half, which is much quicker than the amount of time it would take to fill the tank of a Toyota Camry with unleaded gasoline. Hydrogen is capable of a wide range of climate adaptations. Diesel fuel has been used for a long time in vehicles that are required to be employed for transporting and pulling heavy weights. Yet, diesel fuel may freeze in regions where the temperatures dip down into the negative double digits. Unleaded gasoline, thankfully, is able to endure temperatures of up to minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is something that may occur when there are certain severe wind chill influencing factors. Lithium batteries are able to endure temperatures as low as minus 140 degrees Fahrenheit before they begin to freeze. However, this is something that may still happen on occasion. As a result of its ability to tolerate temperatures as low as minus 435 degrees Fahrenheit, hydrogen is the material of choice in frigid climates all over the globe. When it comes to the hot end of the spectrum, the same thing remains true. Hydrogen has considerably wider climatic adaptability than the other two choices that are now accessible. Hydrogen engines function entirely via mechanical means. You can find little local repair shops on practically every corner throughout the nation. But, as electric vehicles grow increasingly popular among customers, such small garages will no longer be an option for you. It is possible that they will be able to find out how to fix your electric engine by going online, watching a few videos on YouTube, and figuring it out. Nevertheless, it is strongly recommended that you take it to a registered technician who is experienced with the latest technology. On account of the fact that hydrogen-powered engines are comparable to fuel-powered engines, the fact that they are purely mechanical is a significant advantage of these engines. This indicates that the little corner businesses that you feel comfortable bringing your automobiles to will be able to do maintenance on them. There is a history of problems with this technology. There is nothing novel about the idea of using hydrogen as a fuel source for an internal combustion engine. 
BMW is most notable for producing the 750HL in the year 2002, followed by the Hydrogen 7 in the year 2005. A typical gasoline-powered 6.0-litre V12 engine formed the foundation for BMW's Hydrogen 7. However, changes were made to allow the engine to burn both gasoline and hydrogen. This technically made it a dual-fuel engine, and there were only a total of 100 of these constructed. Hydrogen has a number of drawbacks, including the fact that it is very combustible, that it is difficult to handle and store, and that the combustion process results in the emission of nitrous oxide. EVs are not without issue. Toyota takes a more diverse strategy for carbon neutrality, studying different technologies in order to attain the objective of zero emissions. This is in contrast to practically all of the other manufacturers, who are placing their whole bets on electric vehicles. This philosophy seems to be more and more prophetic when one considers the fact that European nations are searching for methods to reduce their energy use as a result of the conflict in Ukraine and the effect it has had on the energy supply. As a matter of fact, Switzerland has gone to the extent of encouraging electric vehicle users to limit their usage of their vehicles to critical situations, such as travelling to work or the grocery store, and this policy has the potential to be enacted into legislation. Toyota is placing significant bets on hydrogen in US. It is important to note that while Toyota is swiftly going in the direction of electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and hydrogen, some of its plants in the United States will be producing fuel cell batteries inside of them. According to a press statement issued by Toyota, a dedicated line at Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky will start building integrated twin fuel cell modules that are intended to be used in heavy-duty commercial vehicles that are powered by hydrogen. With hydrogen, your vehicle will have a longer lifespan. When combined with Toyota's expertise and the company's capacity to manufacture fuel cell technology on a large scale, it is not difficult to see hydrogen cars breaking down less often and needing fewer visits for maintenance. Despite the fact that hydrogen vehicles are propelled by electric motors, they will not be entirely concerned with charging, the condition of the battery, or the inevitable degeneration of the battery. In the same way, the same parallel may be drawn to internal combustion engines, which ultimately suffer from breakdowns and failures. Despite the fact that hydrogen is presently challenging to deal with, it has the potential to become less complicated with sufficient testing and investment from companies such as Toyota. Hydrogen cars are less likely to catch fire than lithium-ion batteries. People have been more cautious as a result of the assertions made by some specialists that a hydrogen explosion is more comparable to a bomb than it is to a regular spark and fire. On the other hand, when compared to the frequency of lithium-ion overheating or responding adversely to external circumstances, hydrogen may be a safer and less reactive energy source. One further thing to take into consideration is that hydrogen gas itself is 200 times lighter than lithium batteries while delivering the same amount of energy. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.